So, Christmas is yesterday. I hope everybody had a really good Christmas. Uh, since I was gone for two days, you probably had a great Christmas because you didn't have to feel obligated to watch these stupid videos. And if you didn't, it's probably because they're really stupid. It's okay. I'm doing it for me, not necessarily for everyone else. It's okay. I hope you entertain. Anyways, but I had a good Christmas. Uh, we went up to Des Moines to see my dad's family. It was interesting. I'll just I'll put it that way. It was interesting because, um, like, I saw some people that I don't usually see. But here's the thing. It's like, all the people, most of the people up there live up north uh, in Iowa City, which is like in the same, you know, state as, sorry, my phone's buzzing, in the same state as Des Moines. And they go there to my great-grandparents' house for Christmas every year, except for the year that we decided to go. So I didn't see, like, half the people that I usually don't see. So lots of the people that were there, half the people that were there, I know I say half a lot, but it's true, half the people that were there were people that I usually see, like, a couple times a year at least. Like, my grandparents that live an hour from here, yeah, they were there. And my Uncle Bill lives in Kansas City, and we go to Kansas City, like, two or three times a year at least, you know, I mean, like, we see him, like, so the only people I don't usually see that were there were my great-grandparents and my great-aunt, so it's my dad's aunt, my grandpa's sister, and it's really weird because she's, like, young, I mean, not, like, really young, but she's young in comparison to my grandpa, she's, like, in her 50s, I think, and, uh, she started really late in life, like, family-wise, so, um, her kids are, the same age as my little brothers, basically. My brothers are 13 and 10, and her kids are, her daughters are 12 and 13. And they're my dad's cousins. But they're more like our cousins. Because they're like, heck, way younger than me. And then she was like, talking about, she's like, oh, I'm 50-something, and my oldest is 13. And I was like, my mom is going to turn 40 tomorrow. She turn Happy birthday, mom. She turns 40 soon, and her oldest is 17. See, well, but she was married. My mom got married when she was 19. And she had me when she was 21. And I don't even know Sue's timeline, but Sue, that's my great aunt. Anyway, it's okay. And she just started later. It's just really, it's just different, you know? I'm like, oh, hey, kids, you're my dad's cousin. <laughs> it's really weird. Um, but we had fun. We ate a lot of food. A lot of food. Okay, I'm really tall, so I can, you can, like, tell if I've had a big lunch, basically. <laughs> like, it's really easy to tell how much I weighed, like, I mean, like, if I gained weight or whatever, because, like, I remember I used to be way chubbier, not that I'm, not that I'm really skinny, I'm just saying I used to be chubbier, and, uh, I lost some weight, like, sophomore year or something, and it was, like, no more than 10 pounds for sure, and I didn't feel like I'd lost a lot at all, and it was, like, five or something, I don't know, but, uh, people were like, oh, you look so skinny, like, how much weight have you lost, and I'm just like, two pounds? Like, I don't know, but you can tell. So, you can see a pudge down there. I, I ate a lot, okay? <laughs> we'll just put it that way. I ate a lot of food. Um, but we had, we had good, uh, Christmas. We had presents and stuff. I got this for my parents. Hello Kitty laptop case. For this laptop that I'm recording this on right now. Yeah, I don't get it either. I think, uh, it kind of should have let me take my laptop with me, which they're gonna buy me a carrying case for it. I don't really I don't know. I don't know why they didn't let me take it. Whatever. Um, but yeah, it was fun. And uh, we came back on Christmas Day, you know. And we had like brunch that on Christmas yesterday before we left. It was like, it was more like late lunch, but with breakfast food. So we called it brunch, but it wasn't really brunch. It was, yeah. Anyway, so we ate at like 2 p.m. So we weren't really hungry until like 7 or 8. And by then we were on the road, right? Okay, here's the thing about Christmas. Nothing is open. Like, absolutely nothing. Like, food-wise especially, nothing is open. Quick Shop is it. So, like, McDonald's? Nope. We don't have any food. Of course not. The only place we could find that was open was a Chinese restaurant. Okay. I hate stereotypes, okay? Here's the thing. I hate when people are like, oh, this kind of person is just like this, you know, this race is just like that, you know. I hate stereotypes. But you Asian restaurants, I seriously can't defend you because you're so darn stereotypical. 
I mean, there's always a bunch of Asians working there. Not that I have a problem with Asians. I'm just saying there's not like white or any other color people working there. Always. Lots of them don't speak English. I've had lots of run-ins with people like they don't understand what I'm saying because they don't speak English. I'm like, I'm sorry. Three. They're all open on Christmas Day. Like, why? Like, go celebrate something with your families. Like, I think the government or your boss or whoever would understand if you had to shut down for Christmas. Because everybody else does. Even McDonald's. Okay, that's a big deal. I, that's saying Christmas is a big deal to me. Personally, I'm like, seriously, McDonald's is closed? The world might be ending. It's e Yeah, if McDonald's is closed, it's either the world is ending or it's Christmas. That's how big of a deal it is, see? Anyway, so uh, we were eating like Chinese food in the car. It's really hard to eat Chinese food in the car. And it took us forever to get the food because the guy there didn't understand us. Mm. And that's funny because I also, on Christmas Day, yesterday, uh, we went to a Catholic church service. Something I am not very familiar with at all because we're not Catholic like my great-grandparents are. It was interesting. And uh, the priest was Asian, dare I say it. And, uh, again, with the stereotypes, like, I hate it, but I just couldn't defend the guy. Like, all his L's, or, yeah, all his L sounds, R's. He's like, the Hari spirit, like, I'm sorry, dude, I, there's not much I can do when you talk like that. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> and like everybody in my family, they're old, I hate when old people do this, they're like, I couldn't even understand a word he said, I'm just like, I could understand everything he said. I was just laughing at how he was saying it to her to really, like, make sense of it. So, it was interesting. But, yeah, that was my Christmas. I hope everybody had a really good Christmas. And uh, today I have, like, a jam-packed day tomorrow. See, here's what's going on. Uh, like, 11.30, we have to be at my grandma's house. My Grammy and Papa this is my mom's parents. And uh, we're having Christmas there tomorrow. And it's also mom's birthday. And she hates having her birthday near Christmas. So she's not going to be in a good mood. She doesn't like that we're celebrating it on her birthday, of course. So after that, dad has like a surprise birthday plan for mom. Something with her friends. And uh, Brent's family's having Christmas because his whole family was like sick on Christmas Day. They did presents tonight and they're doing dinner tomorrow. And they really want me to come. Debbie loves me and she wants me to like marry her son. Like now. So uh, they want me to go there. So I'm like, oh, I'm like being pulled in 15 million different directions. It's pretty great. So that's what's going on tomorrow. And I hope it all works out because I haven't even asked about it because, yeah, it's just too much going on. Kind of nervous. But, um, yeah. Oh, yes, I do have blue in my hair. Kind of forgot about that. <laughs> I really like it. See, it's it's not, no, it's, it's not permanent. It's not semi permanent. It's not even spray. It's a clip. Those clips like goes in your bang right there, like at the root. And uh, I'm not even allowed to wear this. Like I wore them to school sometimes. Like, and my mom told me that she doesn't want me wearing them unless they're for costume purposes. She has this thing against unnatural hair colors. Well, heck, she has a, something against this hair color. She thinks, I don't know. Anyway, she thinks it looks like a hooligan or something. I'm not quite sure where she's going with that. But anyway, so she didn't like it. So I'm not allowed to wear it. But she didn't say anything about YouTube. Yay for loopholes and rules. She's not even probably going to see it. Anyway, it's kind of dumb. But, whatever. Kind of wish. Kind of wish I could put colors in there. It'd be pretty fun. It'd be pretty fun. So I'm going to do rainbow sometime. I don't know when it's going to happen. Sometime just over the summer. Just whole summer's rainbow hair up here. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I swear. Yeah, so I had a fun day today. I uh, hung out with Brian and my brothers. We went played laser laser tag at laser quest which is where he works in the summer when he lives here it was like his first job here in kansas anyway so that's what we did today I ran some errands for mom and cleaned up the house because of the little surprise shindig for mom tomorrow so yeah i got a lot of stuff done pretty fun yeah i'm kind of tired i probably go to bed i'm probably gonna stay up and mess around on the internet some more though so uh Everybody has a good night. Everybody had a good Christmas. Happy Boxing Day, by the way. That's today. And uh, happy birthday, Mom, tomorrow. So, sleep tight. Love y'all. T-T-Y tomorrow. Talk to you tomorrow. Whatever.